Hoosiers will ring in the new year on Thursday, but you won't see crowds like these in downtown Indianapolis this year. Right now, bar and restaurant owners are getting ready for what's typically one of their busiest nights of the year. But they're wondering how long they'll be able to serve customers that night because of coronavirus restrictions. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan is live downtown, so Mike, they're a little frustrated right now. Hey, I mean, on an average New Year's Eve, Meridian Street here is thriving with people, but who will be down here remains an unknown. Those bar owners saying any further uncertainty will just impact their already bottomed out bottom dollar. What happens when the ball drops, the lights go out, but those fireworks never come? Marion County bars are, are looking at a possibly end. Ryan Greb, owner of Taps and Dolls, is used to cashing in on New Year's Eve. Usually about twenty five dollars to $40,000 is uh, online ticket sales. Only this year, they haven't announced a single thing. We've not been alerted or anything of the uh, mayor's new guidelines or what we're supposed to be doing for New Year's Eve. The Marion County Health Department would be behind any potential new curfews or restrictions for the big night. So far, they tell us no announcement is coming just yet. So it's going to be a significant uh, downfall for us for uh, waiting to the last minute to announce ticket sales. Taps and Dolls gets most of their customers after 11 p.m. With current restrictions forcing Marion County bars to close at midnight, last call is 45 minutes before that. So you're cashing in 15 minutes? Correct. Not exactly a profitable venture. It's why Greb is hoping for more financial assistance from the government and maybe some leeway locally. I don't understand why midnight or 3 a.m. makes any difference when our surrounding counties are participating in with the same COVID compliance, but yet they're open till 3 a.m. Fishers is an exception. Their health department is closing bars and restaurants at 10 p.m. for the next two weeks. The restrictions specifically went into effect on Christmas evening just because we wanted to make sure to give enough warning to the businesses. Places like Top Golf or an arcade bar can remain open after 10, but all food or drink must stop. We've been, you know, watching the numbers for quite some time and they continue to go up. Greb fears customers will begin migrating to other counties. Bars are flourishing. Bars that never did uh, any type of business are doing, you know, 200 times the business. He says this information is coming from their mutual liquor reps. We have to understand what, what's the long term effect of us losing our cut guests and customers to the outside counties that they won't stay there since it's, you know, it becomes your watering holes. Their escape in 2020, their new reality for 2021. And that waiting game will continue for Marion County bars. And we reached out to the health department that said they're talking with director Dr. Virginia Kane. And if they give us any information on any further restrictions, we should update you online and on air. Live downtown, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. All right, Mike.